Police in the US are looking at new evidence in the murder of rapper Tupac. A search was conducted on the Nevada home of the wife and a self-proclaimed witness to the shooting. He was one of the most prolific voices of the hip-hop generation. Tupac Amaru Shakur, a young man with big, bright eyes and a poetic sensibility who spit out lyrics that detailed life as he knew it, unvarnished. He revealed the beauty and pain of his life and those around him. The themes stretched from violence in the streets to black liberation to the love between a mother and son. And even as a crack fiend, mama, you always was the black queen, mama. I finally understand for a woman it ain't easy trying to raise a man. Tupac lived a version of the American dream as well as an American nightmare. He was a young black man who unchained himself from the extreme poverty he grew up in, in Baltimore and California. His school friends say his nose was always in a book, always learning, but it was his music and acting that set the world alight. Tupac was extremely passionate, very honest and um, raw in his approach to, to communicating. He became a world famous icon of an emerging genre of music, hip hop only to be gunned down at just 25 years old, near a Las Vegas street corner. Retired Las Vegas Police Lieutenant Chris Carroll was first on the scene that September day in 1996. I ended up uh, pulling Tupac out of the car. Uh, I spoke to him. He was still alive. He was still breathing. I was asking him who did it, who shot him, what happened. And uh, that's when he responded to me with the now infamous words, F you. To put it mildly, Shakur was not a fan of the police for a myriad of reasons. For one, his mother says, he experienced police violence while still in her womb. Afena Shakur recounted the FBI charging into her home, guns out, and carting her off to jail for being a member of the Black Panthers. She defended herself in court and won her case against the state. He was born one month and three days after we were acquitted. Tupac also had his own run-in with violence and the law. I will make this court um, proud if they give me the chance to do so. I mean, I'm sure you don't need to see another black face behind bars. He was a natural-born fighter for black causes, born of two members of the Black Panther Party. I am his mother, and to a large extent, I feel as though Tupac came into this world carrying my Black Panther Party, party pass was his baggage. He was shot five times during a robbery in Quad Studios at Times Square and lived to tell the tale. He always thought East Coast rappers set him up. He was arrested multiple times, accused of violence, but Tupac went to prison after being convicted of sexual abuse in 1995. That happened about a month before the release of his album, Me Against the World. He was bonded out after eight months by Suge Knight, CEO of Death Row Records. I got nothing to lose, it's just me against the world, baby. The raw words of his songs served as a form of empowerment for people feeling the weight of oppression. 27 years after his death, his music is as relevant as ever. Then this week, a stunning announcement. Las Vegas police suddenly revealing they served a search warrant on this Henderson, Nevada home. In the warrant, there is mention of the Southside Compton Crips gang. And they seized items belonging to a man named Dwayne Keith Davis, nicknamed Keefy D. In 1996, Los Angeles police did pick up and question this man, they said, belonged to that same gang. Orlando Anderson was named a suspect in the case, but he was never charged. Were you involved in any way in the death of Tupac Shakur? No, I was not involved. I mean, I'm like a victim. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know what I'm saying, sorry for him. The night of Tupac's murder, surveillance showed Anderson being beaten by Shakur and his entourage in Las Vegas. Hours later, Shakur is shot and killed while in the car with Suge Knight. No one knows what will come of the new police activity, but after 27 years of waiting, his fans and his family hope not just that the murder is solved, but that justice is served.